Today I'm going to show you how to easily memorize the unit circle. Remember, the x value is the cosine, the y value is the sine. So the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half, the sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. And some people, they get confused, like, they're all positive, there's a negative over here, these are negative, like, they don't know what to put positive and negative, but it's actually quite simple. That's really easy. Because you just picture it, this is the x-axis right here. And this is the y-axis. So, everything over here, the x's and the y's, they're all going to be positive. So if you have, like, something like cosine of pi over f 4, you know, it's always going to be positive. Sine pi over 4, it's going to be positive. Over here in the second quadrant, the x's are negative, you see. They're negative. But the y's are going to be positive here. Because everything above here for y's is positive. And down here, you see he that the x's are going to be negative. The y's are going to be negative. So everything over here is a negative value. Over here, the y's are negative, and the x's are positive, as you can see. And, yeah, you can see, because this is 1, 0, x equals 1, y equals 0, and so on. You get the idea. So it's just the coordinate plane. I don't know if your teachers ever told you about that, but, yeah, that's just what it is. Anyway... Before I get to memorizing these, the you guys should I I'm gonna show you a way how to easily memorize these values like pi over six, pi over four, and pi over three, and so on. All right, the first pi over six. That's just gonna be pi over six. Just know that. And then once you jump over another pi over six, it's two pi over six but it's reduced to pi over 3. And then this could be 3 pi over 6, which is reduced to pi over 2. And then 4 pi over 6, reduced 5 pi over 6, can't really reduce, so it's just pi pi over 6. 6 pi over 6, reduced to pi. And so on, 7 pi over 6, reduce that, and so on. Notice how I didn't include pi over 4, because that's a different sequence to follow. Here's pi over 4, and then another pi over 4 right here. 2 pi over 4, reduced to pi over 2. 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4, which is 2 pi. So, yeah, just think of it like that, just this one and this one, that's all you really need to know, pi over 6 and then pi over 4, then get everything else just by knowing, like, the distances, like that. Alright, so that's how to get that. And to get these values, the values of the points say you have a problem like cosine of pi over 3. Cosine is x value, so it's going to be 1 half. The way I, I like to memorize these things is up top, I mean on bottom first, everything on the bottom, the denominator, and all of these is over 2. Everything is over 2. So that relieves a lot of stress we know everything is over 2. Then on top, everything is a square root of something. This could be the square root of 1, but we just don't write the square root because that would be kind of weird. Square root of 3, square root of 2, square root of 2, so on. So on top, everything is square root. On bottom, everything is 2. But how do you get what's on top? So many things are on top, it gets confusing, you know? But really, it's not that confusing if you memorize it like this. Up the very top of the circle, just remember 13. 13 is at the very top. 13. And then 
over here, 22, then 31. 13, 22, 31. And then over here, 31, 22, 13. Whatever is closest to the x-axis, these, are going to be 31, as you can see. 31. And then everything, pi over 4 stuff, like that, that, it's all going to be square root of 2 over 2. Everything is square root of 2 over 2 for those, as you can see. 13, 22, 31, 31, 22, 13. Same thing, pretty easy if you think of it like that. So, that's about it. Um, I hope this helps. And good luck on any tests or whatever. So, alright, later.